A gun control caucus has been set up in the United States Senate. That's a first. I want to tell you all about it. Tell you what these eight members have already submitted for gun control. Tell you what they plan on submitting for gun control. And I think we need to watch this because it's the same tactic that was used to pass the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act only on steroids. Before I jump into that, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that's We The People Holsters. We The People Holsters are manufactured here in the United States of America in Las Vegas, Nevada, and they carry hundreds of holster options for use with or without a belt. They carry all kinds of accessories as well for your everyday carry needs, and they have a ton of availability when it comes to makes and models. And if you head over to We The People Holsters, you can use code GADGETS25 and save 25% on your order. Thanks to We The People Holsters for supporting this channel and being a friend of Guns and Gadgets. And now let's talk about this Gun Violence Prevention Caucus of the United States Senate. A first a gun control group working within the United States Senate. And it is, it's, it's being backed, it's being applauded by Brady, Giffords, and every town. So you know when there's smoke, there's fire. Here are the eight members as of right now, and I'm pretty sure they're going to still be recruiting. Uh, you got Senators Dianne Feinstein, Dick Durbin, Richard Blumenthal, Cory Booker, Bob Menendez, Chris Murphy, Ed Markey, and John Hickenlooper. Hickenlooper was the last to join just prior to them putting out this press release. And it, these are the names that are on all the gun control bills. Dianne Feinstein submits the assault weapon ban every single session of, of uh, Congress. Uh, and... What they're doing is not very much more different than what the Republicans are doing in the House, the ones that I tell you, look, yeah, they're, they're putting this bill out, but it has zero, zero percent chance of passing through the, uh, a, a Democrat majority Senate, nor having a China-controlled president sign it. Zero chance. However, there is, there is a strategy of putting these bills forward. Yeah, I believe it's a lot to do with virtue signaling, and look what I've done, and vote for me again. But it also has the p potential to build momentum, right? You can get more co-sponsors as the bill continues to push forward and grow. That's the idea behind it, right? To get more co-sponsors so that when you do have a shift in the balance of perceived power, then pull the trigger. Unless you have control of the Senate, the House, and the President for two years and do absolutely nothing. But this is the same thing that the Republicans are doing in the House. The Senate's going to be doing it. But I want to show you the bills that they plan on submitting the members of this caucus, and it should open your eyes. Now, talking about the bills, these are the issues that the caucus may focus on. This is what it may include. Successes and failures of state-level gun violence prevention laws and how they may be applied at a federal level. Huh. How can we take the California and Massachusetts gun control and put it on the federal level? Strategies for drafting gun safety legislation that preserve constitutional rights and will avoid frivolous lawsuits. All of them violate the Constitution, so that should wrap that up, but this is the mindset. They want to take away your rights and not get sued. Strategies to engage local communities in the fight against gun violence. Best practices for gun violence prevention advocacy. And opportunities to engage with the administration and executive branch to address gun violence. Now, these eight clowns have already started submitting bills. Some of them I've already showed you. Some of them I will be showing you either later today and or tomorrow going forward. And as they continue to drop them, I will keep keeping, I will keep keeping you no notified. Keep, keep. I'm going to bring it to you. <laughs> this is what they've already submitted, and then I'll show you what they plan on submitting. So far, members of this caucus have already submitted the Age 21 Act to violate the constitutional rights of adults 18 through 20. The assault weapons ban, and we covered both of those here. The Gun Crime Tracing Modernization Act, you'll be hearing more about that here. Ethan's Law, the Extreme Risk Protection Order Expansion Act, Protecting Kids from Gun Marketing Act, and the Secure Firearm Storage Act. And what about bills that are still going to come in this uh, session of Congress by these people? The 3D Printed Gun Safety Act, they want to ban 3D printed guns. Accountability for Online Firearms Marketplaces. A background Check Completion Act, Background Check Expansion Act, Equal Access to Justice for Victims of Gun Violence Act, Federal Firearms Licensing Act, Gun Records Restoration and Preservation Act. That I already know what's going to be in that one, guys and gals. That's no bueno. The Gun Violence Prevention Research Act, the Gun Violence Prevention Through Financial Intelligence Act, spying on gun owners. 
HEAR Act, Jamie's Law, Keep Americans Safe Act, Keeping Gun Dealers Honest Act, Lori Jackson Nicolette Domestic Violence Survivor Protection Act, Nix Data Integrity Act, Officer Ella Grace French Task Force Support Act, Preventing Pretrial Gun Purchases Act, that pretrial, so you haven't been convicted and they want to strip you of your rights, Safe Gun Storage Act, Stopping the Fraudulent Sales of Firearms Act, and the Untraceable Firearms Act. Now, every member of this caucus gave a quote. I'm going to show you just two. One, because at her advanced age, Dianne Feinstein, who has always been the gun control leader, she has been like the boss of the gun control in the Senate for 275 years. She's now, she's been on the back nine for 150 of those years, but uh, her her flame is is dimming. And Chris Murphy is looking to take that lead. So I'm going to give you both of their quotes going forward here so you can know what they're thinking. Yeah, and I just want you to be aware. And here's what Feinstein said. We wake every day to headlines of another mass shooting in this country. We can't allow this to continue. The members of this caucus have all been leaders on the issue, proposing common sense solutions to stop gun violence and keep guns out of the hands of dangerous individuals. We know that no single bill will solve the problem, but by working together to develop a comprehensive approach, we believe there is an opportunity to pass reasonable gun safety bills. And Chris Murphy said, the passage of the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act was a huge win for the gun safety movement, but there's so much work left to do. Every great social change movement knows that success begets success. As a founding member of the Senate Gun Violence Prevention Caucus, I am determined to build upon the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act and continue passing legislation that will save lives. Did you pick up the similarities, guys, of what, what people are saying, and, and the other quotes were similar. Uh, we got the red flag bribery by working with Republicans, and we got them to turn their backs on the Constitution and their constituents to pass uh, violating the rights on 18 to 20 year olds by making their background checks more uh, stringent just because of an age, and also to bribe states for red flags to have them adopt more unconstitutional laws. They saw what worked, and what this caucus is gonna do is they're gonna push gun control beyond what is typically done in Senate committees. So they wanna go further, just like they did with the Bipartisan uh, Safer Communities Act, when they were meeting in rooms, after hours, over the weekend, making deals. Uh, I'll do this for you, wait, you're not running for election again, uh, so we'll get your vote, and in turn for that, we'll throw money over here. That's what they do, that's the dirty tricks of politics. And they saw a success for gun control led by that ass clown, John Cornyn in Texas, and they're gonna look to expand upon that and take more of our rights by making more backroom deals. I want you all to be aware of it, because you're gonna hear this caucus more often. As they put out bills, I'll bring it to you. And if one is seriously uh, being debated or, or looks like it's gonna pass, just like I kept you up to date with that Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, I'll do the same. But if you wanna stay in the loop, you have to subscribe to the channel. According to YouTube, 41% of the people who watch this channel are not subscribed. So what does that mean? It means there's a very good chance that I put out information and at least 41% of my viewers won't see it because it's not gonna pop up or be suggested in your YouTube page. So if you wanna stay in the know, really check your subscription if you have been subscribed because I've got a lot of people that do Guy, one guy the other day said, I've been with you since you had 30, 33, 34,000 subscribers, and I just realized that I was unsubscribed. So double check it. We always mention it on the channels. It's because YouTube actually does actively unsubscribe people. So check your subscriptions, not only for here, but all the channels that you follow, and help them out by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Share it. Let other people see it. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. That's what it's for, guys and gals. So carry your tools because they want to take it away so damn bad. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.